Six years after Nagoya, the Proto is finally back in Japan. A whole generation of pro players has been looking to experience magic in the land of the rising sun. Andrea, how many times have you been to Japan? It's the first time. Why? Because only old people come to, have come to Pro Tour Japan in Japan. O old people? Like how old? Like, I mean, you can also be a very young person that has started to play Magic very even younger, like okay. you. Not only were the players eager to play at Pro Tour Hour of Devastation, they were also excited to discover a place so different to their homes. Kyoto is a city that lies on the banks of the Kamo River on the Onshu Island. Japan's formal capital offers a glimpse at the history of Imperial Japan with beautiful temples at the corner of every street. If you walk around the Jian district, you might even run into real-life geisha. The eerie hissing cicadas will accompany you on your summer walks. I took a couple of hours off my PT preparation to take my wife Monica on a tiring walk to the iconic Buddhist temple Kiyomisudera that overlooks the city. And who knows, maybe it will bring her good fortune. If you venture into the more modern part of the city, you will run into more oddities. The overwhelming smells of fish, spices and steamed food at the market, the deafening rumbling of the pachinko machines, in contrast to the soothing flowing of the fountains. And of course, the toilets with way too many buttons. For most of us, everything about Japan is exotic. The signage, the announcements, the language. Jeremy Bizani moved to Tokyo a couple of months ago. Well, it's pretty much different than Europe. Uh, I mean, the culture and people are really different, so yeah. It's, that's a good experience, I think. This is why I chose to move, to move there. What are the main differences between uh, Europe and uh, Japan? I guess it's probably food. That's the biggest thing. Because, yeah, in Europe you have a lot of things like bread and cheese. And it's very difficult to get it in, in Japan. And if you get it, it's not great. <laughs> so, but the Japanese food is, is definitely great. And in Europe, it's, for example, it's expensive and not that, not that good. But in Japan, it's pretty great. You can eat that every day, it's fine. So what about magic? Is, uh, is the community bigger? Is, are things different? Okay, what I know is about Tokyo mainly because I'm living in Tokyo. So I'm working in a, in a shop, uh, Aruya shop, the TC, and we organize pre-release with like 300 people. So it's pr I don't know if one store do that in the world, but us, it's too many people. Um, People are really passionate, the Japanese guy, we organize tournaments like every day, even at 11 in the morning on Monday. And at 11 in the morning on Monday, is already players come to play tournaments. That's, fr that's just crazy. They are coming every day, every day to play Magic, Monday to Sunday. How has the language barrier evolved through the years with uh, Japanese players? Um, yeah, a long time ago, like 20 years ago, uh, Japan was kind of known for its, uh, shall we say, lack of uh, proficiency with English. But as the years have gone on, the game has grown, become more global. The internet, of course, uh, spreading, bringing people together. Uh, you've seen a marked improvement uh, in the English proficiency, fluency of both players and judges. And it's a lot easier uh, both for people to come here and play an event, and then when the Japanese go to a pro tour or Grand Prix in the US or Europe, it's a lot easier for them to communicate with uh, players as well. While the communication with Japanese players is sometimes tricky, we understand each other just fine. So this is Thursday, the day before the PT. Some drafts are going and uh, we can meet some uh, 
some of the Japanese players. Shuhei. Hi. Yeah. How are you, Shuhei? Yeah, good, good, thanks. How do you? I'm all good, thank you. Show, show us what you got. Show us your draft. Is there a first pick? Second? Third? Fourth? Yeah. Here's six. Do you like it? Do I like it? Yeah, it seems okay. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. And uh, birding, birding the draft. Kenji. Hi. How are you, How are you Kenji? I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Jet lag. Jet lag from where? From Tokyo? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like eight hours. So sleepy. Oh, from the Philippines. <laughs> where do you live? Tokyo, Tokyo, Japan. Eight hours different between Tokyo and here? Uh, okay. <laughs> and we have uh, more Hall of Famers here. We have uh, <laughs> this guy, well, you know, you might, you might know him from, uh, you know, Hawaii and other uh, control decks. Hi. How are you? Yes. I'm fine. Are you ready for this tournament? Mm, perfect, perfect. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Yes. And uh, you might you might recognize this guy too. This is one of the first Japanese Hall of Famers, Masashi Oiso. One of the first, I said. I said one of the first. It's 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 recorded. It, it's recorded. I said one of the first. <laughs> How show us your draft, show us your draft. Uh, <laughs> how have you been? How? How have you been? How? How are you? How are you? I'm good. You're good? Tired. Tired. Jet lag? Very hot. Yes, very jet lag. <laughs> 24, 24 hours, Jet Lagos. Tsuyoshi Hi. Fujita. Hi. Hi. First Hall of Famer from yeah. Japan. Yeah, yeah. The best of them all. <laughs> it's a Friday morning. It's 8.30. 30 minutes till the beginning of uh, Puro Kyoto. Drafts first. Uh, players are starting to arrive. And uh, you can uh, feel the stress in the air and uh, everybody is looking forward to that first so that's the first draft that will determine a lot of the fate of these players including myself so this is gonna be my draft experience in Kyoto hopefully that goes well we'll see that uh, a couple of things if you find anything you feel is of a concern of a safety nature Please report it to our front desk staff. They will radio back to myself or the rest of my staff that we need to take care of an issue. So as you're going through the tournament this weekend, if you see something or feel that there's something that's unsafe, please feel free to report it to the front desk staff and they'll make sure that we know. Uh, as you notice, it is a very hot weekend here in Kyoto. So please take care of yourselves. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. There are water stations around the hall. We will try to keep those as, as full as possible at all times. There are cups there. Uh, a few amenities, uh, changes to the banners that are outside that say no food or drink in the play area. My draft didn't go quite as planned. I went one and two in my first draft, made day two on four and four, and one two again on day two. My eight and two constructed record wasn't quite enough to make up for my poor limited performance. In any case, playing Magic in Japan is always the light, regardless of the result. I don't think it's only because it's so different from what we have at home that we like to come here. It's a genuinely amazing place to visit.
Yeah.